Hello world! In this video, we're going to build an interactive query performance streamlet app right inside Snowflake Notebooks. So what this will allow you to do is identify longest running queries and then use that insight to optimize it further so that it will allow you to save time and money. And so without further ado, let's dive in. So as already mentioned, we're going to build this entirely using Python and also Streamlit right inside the Snowflake notebooks on Snowflake platform. So before beginning, let me show you the notebook that you could download, which is available in the Snowflake Labs GitHub repo. Go to Snowflake demo notebooks, and then you want to scroll down and then find query performance insights using Streamlit. So you'll notice that in the prior tutorial, we already have Query Performance Insight, which provided you with information, particularly SQL queries for you to gain insights into your longest running SQL queries. And the difference in this particular video is that you could take those SQL queries and then add Streamly widgets on top of it so that it will be interactive. By being interactive, it allows you to just slide some slider widgets or other interactive widgets so that other members of your team will be able to instantly generate a report and gain access into the performance of the SQL queries. So you want to go here and then you be able to access the notebook and then you could download it and then upload it to your own um, environment and then follow along. So in here, we're saying that we're gonna create interactive Streamlit app for analyzing query history to shed light on longest running queries. So you could use those insights in order to make your queries perform quicker, um, or you could also aggregate similar queries into a single one, and then you could then use that for many tasks. You could aggregate the tasks together. So, I mean, the creativity, then the possibility are pretty much endless here. So let me know in the comment section down below how you're optimizing this for your particular use case. So we're gonna take the first SQL query uh, from the prior tutorial as an example. So here we're gonna generate the top n longest running queries uh, using this here. So what you could do here is you could look at the last day. So we're going to look at all of the queries that we ran for the last day. Um, and then let's sort it by the execution time. So you're going to see that when we're running a, C a Snowflake notebook, this one takes 3,700 seconds approximately. And then we also have other tasks like showing tables, put, and then the notebook, describe notebook, select particular uh, columns from tables, and um, etc. So we have several different tasks that we were performing in the prior day. Um, Feel free to modify this to week or month as well um, in order to retrieve all of the queries from the last week or month. All right, and so now we're gonna create this interactive uh, tool right inside Snowflake Notebooks. So essentially we're gonna use five Python libraries here. We're gonna have a Snowflake Snowpark so that we connect to the Snowflake uh, database. We're going to use pandas for data wrangling. We're going to use Streamlit for the front end user interface, Altair for data visualization, and also NumPy for numerical computing. Then these are some of the parameters that the user or you uh, will provide as you interact with the widgets. And it will generate the histogram, blocks plot, plot of the query execution time. Um, and also generate the summary statistics as well. 
So you're gonna see here that we have about 84 lines of code. Um, and let's have a look at what the code is doing. So you're gonna see here that we're essentially allowing the users to select a time frame, which is the day, the week, or the month. And then we're gonna analyze data for let's say the top 100 rows um, for the longest running queries. So as we interact with this, uh, the chart will be updated in real time. So you could also put this behind a submit button so that the resulting data will not update with each widget interaction. So I quickly created this app to show you. So here we modify the number of rows to be 40 and then the plot here will be updated accordingly. And then the bin size, we have a 10. Bin size meaning we're essentially categorizing it into 10 different ranges. So if I reduce the bin size, the number of categories will be different. So here we only have four bins. So essentially four basket. And then for each basket, we're doing a frequency count. And then here we're using only 40 rows from our uh, top 40 running, longest running queries. And then this is for the past day. And if you select week, then the data will come from the past week. And if you select from the past month, the data will be coming from all of the queries in the recent month. Okay, so you're gonna see that the plots are different depending on which widget that you selected. So here we're only analyzing SQL commands that are using describe or show. Um, and let's say if we use select, so we're gonna take a look at queries using the select command as well. And if we have execute, you're gonna see that it's, it's the longest running query. Okay, so it should be right here on the far right with a frequency count of two, right? So with each widget interaction, the plot will update. And then below here, you have the box plot. Box plot will essentially show you the first and third quartiles, um, and then showing you the extreme values from the minimum and the maximum. So it's kind of like, they, they also call it the box and whisker plot as well. So you have the box here and then you have the whisker right here to show you the extreme values. So let's have a look at the code here. So we have line number seven to give us the title of this particular Streamlit app, so to say. So a Streamlit app right in, inside a Snowflake notebook. And then let's have a look here. We also use columns so that we could divide our output into different columns. Um, and then here we selected three columns. Actually, we created three columns. And then we put our widgets in there, the, the drop down select box widget um, that will allow the user to select the time frame, day, week, month. And then we also have the slider widget for uh, the second and third column for displaying the number of rows and the bin size. Um, and then we also have a, a multi-select where the user will be able to select the commands that um, they want to analyze for. So it's essentially these three widgets here and the fourth widget here um, as shown above. And then let's have a look at the plots that we're going to generate, the histogram and the plots. Right, so here we're going to get the active session from Snowpark. And then we're going to use the following SQL queries in order to retrieve our data. And then you're going to notice that the input from the Streamlit widget timeframe option and also the limit option is used in the query by means of the F string. So this will allow us to insert custom value from the user widget interaction into the SQL query and then it will uh, put the resulting data into a data frame and then convert it into a pandas format. 
And then from there, we're going to, you know, do some processing and then, you know, save it back into the DF variable. Afterwards, we're going to create a data frame for recreating the histogram data. So we're going to do a lot of the data pre-processing here using pandas and then here as well using Lambda as well. And then finally, we're going to create the plot using Altair. And then the histogram plot will be displayed using um, ST Altair chart. And the box plot will also be created from Altair as well. And so you're going to see here that we labeled the X and Y axis as indicated here and here. And then finally, we displayed the charts using Altair chart method from Streamlit. And then finally, we have the data display, which is an expander box where you click on it and then it will show you the underlying data frame. And then finally, we also have an expander which will show you the summary statistics. Using the dot describe function, from pandas. So here, click here, and then you're going to see the data frame, which was generated using Snowpark by means of the SQL query. And then this data is actually powering the plot creation that you see here. And then we also have these summary stats as well. So you also see the number of counts, the mean value, standard deviation, minimum, maximum value, and then the the three different quartiles, Q1, Q2, Q3, okay? So you could create this interactive Streamlit app or tool right inside Snowflake Notebooks. And so feel free to modify this to your own specific use cases. And do let me know in the comment section how you're using this as a starter point for your own workflow. And so, all of the resources here are provided below and linked to the Snowflake and Streamlit documentation. And as always, the code here will be provided in the video description. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you reached this far, drop a fire emoji so that we know that you're the real one. And as always, smash the like button and also Turn on notifications so that you'll be notified of the next video. And until next time, happy coding!